Bricks, this is a bibliophile's dream. This is the Hereford Chain Library. So why were books chained in libraries? Well, in the Middle Ages, libraries in places like monasteries were a closed system. Only the monks that lived there really had access to them. But in more urban settings like cathedrals or universities, and certainly this is the case with Hereford, books need to be kept securely to stop people running off with them. So the first use of chained books in a general way that we have a record of comes in 1271 at the Sorbonne. And there we know that Gerard de Abville donated 300 volumes to the library with the proviso that they be chained and preserved. And this was worth doing because by 1338, 300 out of the 2000 volumes at the College of the Sorbonne had gone missing. Now this wasn't a perfect system because books were chained to the shelves or to lecterns. It meant that you couldn't consult multiple texts in the same place at once if they were chained in different places. 